Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how well this model works with a variety of different uh, vehicles that are out there to purchase. Here's a look of the model. And it's a long tunnel going underneath. And you can see through on both sides. Hopefully I got that angle right. I got a lot of different vehicles and I had no idea which ones were going to uh, work well. And there's not a whole lot of info on the dimensions of these and which are compatible with which. Uh, this track that I'm using is from a Neotrax set and a twister track set. Uh, they're both from the same maker. So here I'm going to start with this car right here. And that car came with this set right here in case you were wondering. I got that one on Amazon. Alright, let's see if we can get this going. We'll catch that one going around again. Going up. And it goes around quite smoothly. So that one works well. Pick that one up. This car I got from another set with those the gray tracks. I don't know if you guys have seen them before. This one's actually dying on me and I'm not going to run this one. But it works very well with this model as well. I just got these two cars. I got this green one. And I got this blue one right here. Uh, just got them a few days ago and I tested them out. And they actually didn't work. And I actually modified this model one last time to uh, make it work with these ones. Because these cars are they are very big and wide and tall. And they also have rubber tracks on the front tires, which I've never seen before. So I actually took that off, and that'll help the car kind of move around on the filament easier. And that is from this box right here, Kiduzi. Right There we go. I got that on Amazon as well. But I do have it working now. Run that. Put some going underneath. And up and around. It goes pretty smooth too. I'll try to get a better angle for you guys. And you can see them go through. I'm going to put the other one on there too. The next cars I want to show you are these smaller cars. These cars are actually from different sets, but they work on uh, these tracks. They don't go around corners very well on the track, but I have it working with the model very well. These are the kind of sets that they come from. I've gotten a couple on AliExpress. And I also got a couple on Amazon as well. But I've been buying the individual vehicles for $1.87 a piece on AliExpress. I found that deal and couldn't pass that up. And here we're going to test it out. I found 
two different speeds of these vehicles. These are the faster ones. These are the ones I paid a dollar eighty-seven for, and I found slower ones as well. Both on AliExpress, and the, I really haven't been able to tell which ones are going to be fast and which ones are going to be slow, but they're really cheap. And they've been holding up well. I haven't had any breakdown on me yet. The next is this school bus. It's a smaller vehicle. And I got it from this set. And that one was on AliExpress. I could not find it on Amazon or anywhere else. Let me give that one a try. And it's a nice smooth ride. Uh, the next car I found in a set, I've never seen this one before besides this one, I found it at a thrift store. And that one came from this set right here. The thing I like about this one is that it does light up. It doesn't do great on the actual tracks. You can see, oh, there we go, it's struggling right there. If you do use these ones, you gotta make sure the corners aren't very sharp at all, otherwise they'll just go over the edge. But it does work with the model. And it's kind of fun because you can see the light straight through the little cave openings. Next is this model of car. I've seen them in the gray plastic track sets and sold individually on AliExpress and I haven't seen them anywhere else. These ones cost about three bucks a piece shipped so they're cheap and they've held up very well for me so far. I think these are my favorite cars. They're fast. They seem to work with everything that I've made so far. They seem to do the best. They don't go over the sides of the track either. These things just cruise. Let's throw one more on there. Yeah, these guys ride nice and smooth. Finally, we got these bump and go cars. I believe this is from a Twister Tracks, which is just like the Neo Tracks. This is the actual track right here from it. Comes in those sets and they look rather wide, but they seem to do really well with everything I've designed and they handle the tracks very well too. They light up, which is definitely a bonus. They're fast. I've gotten four of these cars and I did have one die on me. It's gotten really weak where I can't climb anymore, so I don't know about the durability. But they fly. We'll run one more. There you have it. It's fun to watch them go through. They light the whole thing right up. I did purchase these cars, emergency vehicles. I got a couple of them. And I didn't know anything about them. Turns out they're really huge. And I knew these were going to be on here, but they stick way down. And they are just too big for any of the designs I've made so far. And this just scrapes on the bottom anyways when it goes over any kind of edge. So, these ones are a bust. 
One last thing I did want to show you guys that this does work in both directions. So you can choose which way you want to go with it. It's nice and smooth in both directions.